Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kept here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over help desk IT support skills you may need to know if you're trying to break into IT support or help desk. I see if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Break, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. So today I want to go over um help desk stuff you may need to know if you're going for a job. So um couple of couple of things I'm gonna say here because I get asked a lot of these questions. So number one for me is uh look at the job description. Number two is titles are very dumb sometimes. The so titles don't mean anything. Like you could be called senior senior help desk or senior IT support, and all you do is password reset all day. I had someone that, that had a crazy title, and all they did was password reset all day. So really look at the job description, go based on that, and go based on those things that are there. And that's actually your that's actually what you should be preparing for when you're going for a job interview. Look at the job description and figure out what you may be asked based on the job description or based on your resume. So that's very important. Um for help does IT support jobs. I look at the description. I don't look at, uh, you know, like the actual title. So that's just my personal experience. And then the other thing is very important that make sure you're getting paid what you're worth. You make sure you're not doing a bunch of different responsibilities and the pay is super low, if that makes sense. So if it's entry level, it's entry level. If it's middle level, it's middle. If it's senior level, it's senior level. So they should be paying you what you're worth. All right. It's extremely important. All right. So now I'm going to go over some skills you may need to know if you're getting into help desk or IT support. So first one, or what we uh, what I like to talk about is Active Directory. So Active Directory is extremely important. You may need to understand password reset, account creation, security groups, distribution groups, uh, how to reset a password, how to unlock an account, how to um, give someone access to a certain thing. So that's what that's number one. Oh, that would be the first thing I'll talk about. I always talk about this on my channel. And the other one is shared drive permissioning. So a lot of these companies, they will ask you, oh, give me, can you give this person access to this drive or that drive or this folder? So that's very important, understanding about shared drive permission. And they have security groups for that. And they'll train you on this, by the way. But it's just so you are aware of it, okay? Um, the next one will be um, understanding Office 365. So when you're troubleshooting Office 365, you may, need, you may need to troubleshoot Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint. You may need to understand how to open it in safe mode. I do have videos on this, but it's just so you're aware of it. The next one is going to be Office 365 admin suite. So you have to understand Office Exchange admin how to unassign, reassign a license in Office, in Office 365 uh, portal, how to give someone access to certain things on Office 365, share drives, OneDrive, admin, Teams admin, um, creating a mailbox, creating a distribution group, creating a resource group, uh, creating an Office 365 email group, really depends what they want, but you should understand how that works, which is why I tell everyone to take advantage of the Office 365 developer program so you can get it for free for 90 days and then you can learn office 365 for free and then you can add those skills to your resume all right uh next one is obviously every company uses this universal a ticketing system so understand about ticketing systems a lot of people don't do this they they they, they don't even know how to get access to a ticketing system or learn a ticketing system like you can learn it on, on your own for free on the fly using jira service now uh spiceworks you know what whatever you like try it play around with it and add those goes to your resume all right the next one is going to be understanding about sscm so a lot of these companies like they, a lot of this is like this is like going to the point to going to mid-level job so like if you see like a mid-level job or a senior level job you may see sscm in the job posting and sscm basically allows you to deploy applications deploy software or deploy windows updates and patches so you may understand about patches updates um asset management those things are very important so you will be asked in the job environment, depending on the job, you may be you may be required to understand SSCM. The next one, because we're going to SSCM land, I'm gonna talk about imaging. So understand about imaging. Like if I go to if I go to you and I'm like, hey Tom, can you upgrade can you um build 40 PCs from scratch right now for me using the KVM switch? And you look at me like I'm crazy, you don't know what I'm talking about. Well, you're in trouble, obviously, right? So you should understand how to image computers. They have a golden image in SSCM. So literally you do is just go to the BIOS and you press F12. You enable Pixie Boot and you boot into the image, and that's the same thing with Norton Ghost, and that's the same that's the same thing with MD, MDT Microsoft Deployment Tool. So depending on the company, you may see some sort of imaging software that they're using. You may not see anything at all. You may be asked to create one yourself. <laughs> so it really depends on the company, right? So understand about imaging computers and imaging PCs. All right. Uh, the next one would be obviously troubleshooting uh, software for users and end, end users and clients. So. A lot of these companies, they have their own third-party tools that they use. So you may need to get on a call with the vendor and you have to figure out how to fix the issue on the fly. So that's why I tell people, go, go make sure you have strong analytical thinking because a lot of these companies, 
they will require you to Google the answer. They will require you to, uh, to figure out the answer or find the answer. So it's extremely important they have strong analytical thinking. It's extremely important that you look at your old tickets to see if someone resolved the issue. It's extremely important that you ask for help as well, because sometimes if you don't know the answer, best you ask for help because you don't know how that company's infrastructure is set up. They may have something wonky set up in the back end. You don't know. And that's what's, that's what's causing the error message. You don't know. So that's why I, uh, I tell people, ask for help. Look at your old tickets. Do some Googling online or, or, or talk to your manager. It's very important. Okay. Um, the next one for me is going to be um, terminations and new hires. So when you're, when you're, when you're working help desk IT support, you will be, you know, obviously in charge of new hires, you will be in charge of terminations. You will be charged of new hires of moving computers, laptops, um, docking stations, um, setting up monitors from scratch. Um, if you have access to the MDM uh, IDF room, you may be patching cables. It really depends on the company. And that's another one. Um, the next, the next one that's very important that you may be required, you may do and help us for IT support. Um, like I said, you may have access to um, Cisco call manager, like the phone system. You be you be be assigning someone a phone number. You may not be assigning someone a phone number using Cisco call manager. Uh, that'll be another one. The next, the next one that. Uh, you may be asked to do or you may be dealing with is MFA, multi-factor indication. So a lot of these companies use MFA and you will see like, you will have to help a user with their phone. Like, oh, can you help me set up MFA on my phone? Uh, can we set up Okta on my phone or Dual or RSA? It really depends on the company. Um, the next one will be um, MDM, which is mobile device management. So you may be set, you may be setting up mobile iron. You may be setting up AirWatch. You may be setting up a third-party application like Monster 60. Really depends on the company again. So, like, that would be something you will be dealing with as well. Um, the next one will be uh, probably for for some people in IT help desk is answering phone calls. So you have to have strong customer service, a lot of patience, a lot of empathy, and you have to know how to deal with people. That's just the reality of help desk and IT support. And and I tell I tell everyone like, help desk IT support is not for everyone. You have to have really good customer service, but also. If you if if you're there more than two years, that's a problem. Unless you get promoted or something, then that's a different story. But you shouldn't be there. Uh, you should be there at least one to two years, no more than that. Like I always tell people that. Like if you're there more, longer than that, then then you're just hurting yourself, right? If you're miserable and you hate help desk, obviously you know, just get the work experience and then leave after that. That's what I tell people to do. Like you don't have to stay in help desk. I'm not telling anyone to stay in help desk. Like obviously, if you get raises and bonuses and stuff like that, or you get promoted within, that's a different story. But I tell people it's not for everyone. All right. So with that being said, I hope this video helps you out and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Peace. Bye. Later.